Time for tonight's panel. So we've been talking about the CDC and FDA pausing the Johnson & Johnson coronavirus vaccine. Well, it's facing a, a rising tide of criticism tonight. Let's bring in the author of that tweet. We talked about Fox News medical contributor Dr. Marty McCary, Fox News contributor Leslie Marshall, and author of They Never Let a Crisis Go to Waste. It's brand new. It's out. Fox News contributor Jason Chaffetz. Welcome to all of you. Hi, Thank Shannon. You. Thank you. I feel best to start with our, our medical uh, expert tonight. Um, and, and Dr. McCary, you've, you've expressed um, you know, just looking at the numbers, if you're going to pause, uh, uh, we are told one death now out of nearly 7 million doses for Johnson & Johnson, there have been additional cases of this clotting issue. Um, but you say if that's the standard we're going to use, there are all kinds of medications and medical equipment we then cannot use. What do you make of this? Well, that's right. Almost every medication that we prescribe as physicians has some complication in that ballpark of risk. I mean, oral contraceptive pills kill about one in 200,000 people that take them. We wouldn't have Tylenol if we didn't tolerate the risk of one in a million deaths. So we've got to balance risks, and doctors are very good at this. Every day we do this with every medication, every operation that we recommend, we're balancing risks. So why not give people the information? Why not tell Americans that there's been one death out of 7 million people that got the J&J &J vaccine and let them make a decision? If I were advising the FDA, I would also encourage them to do a pause, but in the specific group where those complications were seen, in women of childbearing age, that's where the complications happened. That's where the death occurred. That's where they can do the pause and take a closer look. For everybody else, let them make a decision. Whatever happened to uh, letting people make decisions about their own bodies? Yeah, and Leslie, uh, we do have people that are skeptical and that have concerns. They hear something like this and they want to know more. They want to talk to their doctors. Um, there are other options available in most places to a growing number of people. Um, but there are those who, uh, are, who have great questions about the vaccines and the speed at which they were developed. Uh, they're going to be skeptics no matter what, and this is going to spook some more people, i got to imagine. Yes, but it's an excuse for some people because there are a number of people that weren't going to get the vaccine, whether it was one dose, Johnson & Johnson, Pfizer, Moderna, or, you know, if somebody went to the moon and came back with, with a vaccine. Look, this is what I'm hearing from physicians is that, and, and what we heard from Dr. Fauci, uh, this pause is very, in the CDC and the FDA, this pause is very temporary, and the reason is, and doctor, 18 to 48 is childbearing age, love that, but uh, when we look at the six women <laughs> and uh -oh. this, this specific <laughs> and this specific <laughs> clot, this is a very rare clot, the doctors that I interviewed on my radio show today say. And in addition to that, this is not to, 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 you know, because everybody's, you know, rushing and fearful, you know, of everybody getting this clot. Like you said, rightfully, Shannon, you're talking about six individuals. One did die out of those six out of almost seven million. They need time to just a brief amount of time to educate the medical community because apparently some medications like heparin, which are used for typical uh, clots or the, the most common clots, which this clot is not, uh, they think can potentially have an adverse reaction. So this is more not to say wait and stop people from getting it, but more uh, to alert and educate the medical community when they have people coming in who are in this demographic uh, with these types of clots who've received the vaccine within a two to three week period prior. Well, and Jason, it sparks this whole conversation that we've been having about some people who do not want to be mandated to take any vaccine, just like, um, you know, the flu vaccine they'll say is optional. People will say it has a much lower death rate. It's a different risk. Um, but people want to have this conversation about whether they should have vaccine passports. The government can't do it likely uh, under any scenario, but when private industries do it, and maybe with the help of the government saying you can't come to this concert or this football game or whatever it is you want to attend, um, it's a real conversation we got to have about civil liberties and medical privacy. Well, I, I believe that the, the principle here is, is, is personal and self-determination. Allow the government to provide the facts, go, be able to go out in the marketplace and, and talk to doctors, consult with your own personal doctor and make that decision. For me personally, my wife and I, we each got the Moderna shots and I've had the two. My wife's had one and she's got another one coming up. But that may not be the right solution for other people. Most people in this country, I don't think, realize that the federal government actually has a vaccination court 
a federal court with, that pays billions of dollars mm -hmm. for people who have adverse reactions to all sorts of things. And the reason they do that is, as the doctor was talking about earlier, people do have adverse reactions. But in places like California and others, when it comes to some of these other vaccinations, they do enforce that. They do mandate it. You have to get it. And I, th I worry. I think people get to make that decision themselves. I think that ends up in court personally as the lawyer uh, on this panel. But, Doctor, very quickly uh, before we have to go, do you have any idea of a sense of a timeline on this pause on Johnson & Johnson before we know more or a decision about p potentially allowing it back into the marketplace or not? Any idea? It'll be a yeah, it'll be a few days, Shannon. And don't be surprised if some more cases come out because now people are vigilant. Doctors are looking for this complication. Mm -hmm. People are going to come forward. And we're probably going to see 20 or 30 cases in total, hopefully not too many more deaths. But you will see it. Just remember, this is a life-saving vaccine, something we have to keep in mind as we're still in a health emergency and balance risks. We do that all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wise advice. All right, Dr. Leslie and Jason, thank you all very much. Great to see you. Thank, Thank you, you, Shannon.